The European Public Hearing on European Conscience and Crimes of Totalitarian Communism, 20 years after was a European public hearing organised by the Czech Presidency of the European Union in the European Parliament on 18 March 2009. The hearing was described by the Presidency as the third step towards the establishment of a European platform of memory and conscience to support the activities of institutions engaged in reconciling with totalitarian regimes in Europe." The hearing was hosted by the Deputy Prime Minister for European Affairs Alexander Vondra and the Permanent Representative of the Czech Republic to the European Union Milena Visinova on behalf of the Czech Presidency of the Council of the European Union, in cooperation with MEPs supporting the Prague Declaration. The first session, chaired by Tuna Kelam Mep, included speeches by Pavel Zacek, Director, Institute for the study of totalitarian regimes, Emmanuel Krabat, European Commission Directorate General of Justice, Freedom and Security, Emmanuelis Zingurus, Chairman, International Commission for the Evaluation of the Crimes of the Nazi and Soviet Occupation Regimes in Lithuania, Marius Opera, Institute for the Investigation of Communist Crimes in Romania, Hans Altendorf, Office of the Federal Commissioner for the Stasi Records, Vasil Kadranov, Hannah Arendt Center, Nicholas Wirth, Institute for Contemporary History, CNRS, and Camilla Anderson, Institute for Information on the Crimes of Communism. The second session, chaired by Jana Hybiskova Mep, included speeches by Alexander Vondra, Deputy Prime Minister for European Affairs of the Czech Republic, Jan Figel, European Commissioner for Education, Alejo Vidal Quadras Mep, Vice President of the European Parliament, Jan Zaradil Mep, Laszlo Tokes Mep, and Sandra Kalnete, former European Commissioner. The conclusions called for the establishment of the platform of European memory and conscience, and supported the proclamation of the European Day of Remembrance for victims of Stalinism and Nazism. The hearing was followed by a resolution of the European Parliament on European conscience and totalitarianism of 2 April 2009. 